Hi, uh, so my name is Sean and this is another Booth Masters video. This is a wiring guide for the 7 camera array. Uh, so each one of these you're going to be able to click and it'll bring you to the section of the video which uh, correlates with it. Uh, we're not going to go over the computer and the flash in this video though. So first we're going to look at the two Esper boxes that we're going to mount on the left side of the booth. Uh, they're going to go right here using these two mounting positions right where I just pointed. Uh, you're going to use two zip ties to zip tie together, or if you have longer zip ties, that's perfectly fine. You can use those too. Uh, you're just going to want to ensure that you uh, put the zip ties around so that they uh, hug onto those ridges so that the Esper boxes don't fall or go anywhere. So on the Esper boxes themselves, there are six ports, ports one through five on the first one, which is the one touching the left side of the booth. Uh, those are going to be used for the sync ports, and then port 6 is going to be used for the flash. Uh, ports 1 through 5 are using 2.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter ends, and then port 6 is the 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter aux cord. And then uh, on the second Esper box, you're going to use ports 2 and 3 to finish off the syncs to the cameras, and then port 1 is going to be used um, in order to uh, daisy chain the two Esper boxes together. So it's going to go into the input port of the first Esper box, which is the one touching the left side of the booth, and then it's going to go into port 1 of the second Esper box. Um, that's again a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter end aux cord. So after you mount this and get this all ready to go, uh, you're going to be able to then mount the uh, power strip, which is what I'm about to start mounting right now. You're going to use the bottom two uh, mounting positions in the top section of the booth. Uh, you're going to use, again, two zip ties zip tie together, or if you have a long enough zip tie, zip tie uh, using that one. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't block any of those ports because they're very essential. Um, with the power strips we use, we have eight ports and four USB slots. Uh, two of those USB slots are dedicated to the two Esper boxes to supply power to them. Um, the Esper boxes come with a USB-C to USB end, and that USB is going to plug into one of the two uh, that are needed for the Esper boxes. And then the actual power strip has eight ports. Um, the eight ports themselves, uh, seven of those are going to be used for the camera supplies, uh, power supplies, and then one of them is going to be power supply to the USB hub, which I'm going to mount on the right side of the booth using the top mounting uh, position uh, in a second here. But right now what I'm doing is I'm supplying power to those Esper boxes, and then I'm going to go ahead and plug that 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter aux cord into the input section of the first, and then the first slot of the second Esper box. And I'm just going to tuck it away back here. Uh, in order to um, make a clean look in the booth itself. This cord you're not going to need to remove in any capacity at all. Um, you just keep that one there forever. <laughs> um, and when we put the flash in, you can, uh, for storage, just keep it plugged into the top of the first Esper box. So right now I'm going ahead and I'm going to mount that 7-port USB hub. Again, it's very important that it has 7 ports because you have 7 cameras that you need to have the community uh, the computer communicate with. So those are actually so that's actually going to be mounted right here. Um, there's two other cords that come with the USB hub. It's the power supply and the USB that's actually going to plug into your computer. And that power supply is going to plug into the power strip. So right now we are looking at the top view of the mounting plate. So this is the first position. Um, so right behind the camera there are two spots that you should note. There's a small little hole and then right behind that is a mounting po uh, point for all the different power packs. So there's seven power packs. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to mount the power pack onto that mounting position. Uh, you're going to run the power supply up through that little hole to the power pack and then plug it into the power pack before you zip tie it down. Um, also, you're going to make sure that the end that goes into the camera has enough slack so that the camera can move around when you're going to calibrate. Uh, this is very important because you don't want anything slipping out uh, when you go and move the, the camera around uh, during calibration. Uh, again, 
calibration is another topic that we're going to go over in a different video, but uh, that is just something to keep in mind. And right now I'm about to start mounting all of those power packs to those positions, so enjoy this time lapse. So right now I am actually going through and I'm uh, using sync cords um, to supply uh, sync to the Esper boxes. Uh, again, they're 2.5 millimeter ends to 3.5 millimeter ends, and they're going to plug into ports one through five on the first, and then two and three on the second. And I am positioning these cameras in such a, or I'm positioning the cords in such a way so that they have enough slack for you to move that camera around, uh, which again is very important. Um, just another thing to note, um, we have two different sizes that we use for the 7 cam. We have 0 0.5 mil, uh, meter length cords for the 3 middle and then point, or 1 meter for the 2 on the left and right ends. Now I'm going through and I'm uh, mounting all the different uh, USB cords. These are all 1 meter in length. Uh, and then each of these USB cords is plugging down below into the actual USB hub. And then um, after you do all that, you're going to need to go under the booth itself and start uh, hiding away all the cords that are just dangling below. Um, I'm going to show you that here in a second, but um, also just, again, make sure you leave enough length for yourself to uh, play with. So right here, I'm just uh, tidying up the cords and I'm zip using zip tie mounts along the bottom of the mounting plate on both sides and uh, this is actually pulling the cords um, up and into the t slot so that's it that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed um, check out more videos in the description but that's it that's the 7 cam wiring guide